In the 1974 general elections in St. Lucia, the electorate voted in 17 constituencies for the first time, an increase from the 10 constituencies that had been in place since 1951. The St. Lucia Labour Party SLP won seven of those 17 seats. The constituencies and the elected members of parliament were Groselet, Gregor Mason, Castries East, Peter Josie, Castries South, John Odlum, Ansloray Canneries, Kenneth Foster, Choiselle Fonse Jacques, Evans Cauldron, Labry Saltibus, Alan Louisi, and Vierfort North, Boswell Williams. In the 50 years since the SLP won those seven seats, only two constituencies have followed the star and remained loyal to the SLP, Vieux-Fort North and Labrie. Today, we celebrate this milestone in the history and that of the SLP. We applaud the shining example and inspiration they have been to the people of labor and the country. Their example has been followed by Vieux-Fort South and Castries East, which, for the last 27 years, have consistently voted for the SLP and for Dr. Kenny D. Anthony and Philip Joseph Pierre, respectively. However, we take special cognizance of Vieux-Fort South today because, along with Labrie and Vieux-Fort North, it forms a solid wall of support for the SLP in the south of the island. Today, we celebrate their accomplishment and their faithfulness to the St. Lucia Labour Party. In the voices of some of their constituents, we hear why they have been so loyal to the SLP for 50 years. I'm Avis Lucy James, originally Dutch citizen of St. Lucia, and I'm from Labrie, Safi Estate. I came over here when I was four years old, and from the time I came over here, I was launched into a Labour Party environment. My father campaigned on a car battery under the bushes with deceased Clive Compton. At that time, um, Labrie was attached to Dufort. Then when Mr. Compton dissolved the two parties to form one, one party, he was so annoyed he left him alone. We didn't follow him. And he was vexed and for 30 years, Labrie was in bondage. Nothing was being done in Labrie. No matter who the rep was, it was nothing was being done. I'll give you an example. Right now, Honorable Alva Baptiste was able to, to, to hold, get the funds to do the market. That market was 40 years in the pipeline. I was, in the, I was a member of the Labri Village Council then, and when we came to have the, everything finalized, the permanent secretary at that time in the Ministry of Social Transformation, I think it was, um, she said that, by the way, who is your district rep? At that time, it was Alan Luizzi. As if she did not know who. And she said, oh, there's a saying that catches on. We assume it from the bastards. So that means Labrie was a bastard and nothing was done in Labrie. And they went right back with the plans and they never did the, the market. But luckily for us, Will and John came in Although he was ridiculed in, in, in Parliament, he, he, he took the, the prisoners and he cleared this place and said, we'll do something with it. He called it the car park, the beach park. And then he, he lamented the fact that a little community called Majumel, he used to call it the black hole of Calcutta, hadn't got any road, hadn't got anything, water, nothing. And they used to ridicule him. Deceased Alan Ambuske says, Where do you get those names from? Macho Mel and all of these names. Where do you get these things from? Today, Macho Mel has his road because of Alva Baptist. The administrative building was done by labor. It was supposed to be done by the sea. The leader will come. We said, ah, By the sea? Why are you putting buildings like that by the sea? Post office and everything by the sea. Say, No. So he put it there. It is. The police station was done during the time of, of Bill and John, all that Labour Party. My grandmother said to us, never ever vote UWP, which was PPP and Labour together. Never vote. And Compton couldn't come to her house. She would turn her back. 
although he was a member of our family, like he used to be one of us. But she took it so hard. All the elder people took it so hard that labor was fused with another party to form WP and they want us to form. Then we were, we, we were um, what do you call it, betrayed by, by, by Shadal Sh 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 Up to this day, I have the, I have the voice paper showing his big belly, his back and going. We, we sent him packing. So you see, we are die hard labor. But now, we have to be careful because people vote for what they can get for themselves, not for the country. So you have to be careful. You have to instill in them that you don't vote for, for yourself, you vote for our country. And that's how we, the older folk and the lots of us, we vote. No more say, Mary Perry, no better name as Edward Miz. Avec moi sorti, belle vie, vie faux. Avec des débuts, moi, jeune m'envahi. Moi, qu'à supporter les bons partis. Puis, avec mon amour, les VA, tant que moi, ton ton, moi, c'était strong les bons. Pour moi, les gens baillent, moi, c'est strong les bons, from juste toujours. Et de manière, moi, qu'à supporter. Premier pas, moi, qu'à oui, merci, bon Dieu pour, premier premier ministre, Kenny Anthony. Nous devons rester ici, c'est par là que nous avons nous tout boucler. Nous pas tenir de l'eau. Nous pas tenir de courant. Nous pas tenir rien. Là pour nous aller bon chemin, nous avons un petit chai pour mettre en ville, la pluie tomber. Nous ne pouvons lever depuis 4 heures, lever toute ma maille. Avec moi, ni deux souliers, nous avons un pied, nous avons un pied pour lever le bon chemin pour nous mettre en ville. Mon Dieu, c'est le bas parti à point après, mon Dieu. C'est si si l'équité la première vague il mettait dans nous glow et current et fait bon dieu il ni mettait mon ça mon dieu la baptiste ba nous praise le lord nous pas ni chimé nous ni haïwi praise le lord là oui merci pour ça avec timicia pani politique ça toi va il 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 a pour ni jeune ni bai tout le monde travaille. Avec qui c'est un bon ici, on pas qu'il pour y pour y va assister. Presse le bon Dieu dit acts and you will receive, seek and you will find. Knock that will be pour ça. Avec qui c'est un bon ici, bon Dieu qu'il aide, bon Dieu qu'il m'a reconduit avec ma grâce, qu'il vient ensemble. Presse de l'eau. D'avoir eu pas faire bon bagaille. D'avoir eu pas un parti qui crie en ad. Si vous m'a dit ça, yo pas ça ba oui. Yo pa idou non. Mais depuis yo dou oui, ou pe ni confiance ou pa yon ni. Yo pe pou yon kometan, yo pa idou nou ki. Moun sa ke de jen le yon. Moun sa gade si la. Ou pou yon aïs tou si. By the time I was small, coming up, I been supporting the same thing. And um, if I can tell you the time I know myself when I start voting, that was the time Cam John Campton was in power. And during that time, he fought enough was always under pressure, suffering. So, I choose to vote for SLP. And from then, up to this day, SLP is the one who had developed G4 North. So there is no way I can look at myself and say I'll vote for Flambeau. Now, voting for SLP, I have seen a lot of development, a lot of good things from the Labour Party. As a matter of fact, the place where you just stand there, that was done by SLP. Mr. Shabatis was the one who built that concrete road and many, many others. And with Mr. Shabatis, I can tell you, this man is, I would say, the king for Fifot North. We are celebrating 50th. Um, since we, 50 years since we, in the Fort North is the Labour Party. No one have not break that chain. So that's just to show you that SLP is the one that can run the Fort North and the whole country. So that's what it is. My name is Shomian Popi. I am employed at the View Fort North Parliamentary Office as the Community Liaison Officer. They say 50 years 
of unbroken support to the St. Lucia Labour Party. I say 50 years of unity, 50 years of trust. Under the St. Lucia Labour Party, we have come a long way. And I'm saying the St. Lucia Labour Party only. Because when the other party is in power, we don't get anything. We don't receive anything. In Viewfort North, we have a number of community roads that have been re-established. And for the first time, some of them have been touched. When you talk about Tevon Road has been completed, Backstreet Road, the second phase of One View, Opicon Road, where I live, Molly's Avenue. We never had a good road there. And yes, you can come, come and visit Viewfort North. We have roads that were built under the St. Lucia Labour Party, like Fodor Road. When you go to Monkayan, the road leading to the playing fields, and a number of roads in Bellevue. We talk about from Lape to right up Vevercel to the forest, Perino Lane, Aldonza Lane, and a number of other roads, the Mai roads in Bellevue. And that's just Bellevue. We have a number of community roads. You want to talk about education? Let me tell you. Did you hear about the first generation scholars? We have a number of our people from Beaufort North who have already benefited from that. My name is Jamlin Clovis and I'm a beneficiary of the first generation scholarship. I have to say it was, it is indeed a blessing to me because mm, I've always wanted to further my education and for some reason I've never been able to have the finances to do so. So with a government as we have right now, I mean um, SLP administration has always been about education, even from stemming from um, our first prime minister in power, Kenny Anthony, where he opened school so that everybody could get a, an opportunity to go to secondary school and now this first generation scholarship it has been a it is a blessing to me i mean i used to be a preschool teacher before where on earth would i get over twenty thousand dollars to get a scholarship i would not even dream of an opportunity like that so i'm just grateful my name is patrick Gail. I'm from Laosho's Beaufort. Dr. Anthony has been very generous to Beaufortians. I mean, he came, introduced himself, although he's not a Beaufortian per se, but he had brothers who were Beaufortians, not from the other side of his, the other maternal, father's maternal side. Um, and he was well accepted in Beaufort by the community, Beaufort community. And we all supported him. And he has dealt with you for generous, to be honest. He has done a lot. Um, there's so many things I can't, <laughs> too many, too numerous to mention. Well, one of the most important things he did was the Proud program. Because initially, you want me to give you a little thing about the program? Initially, we were shifted back from met staff by the Americans to Laosus and Diamond. These are the communities, the Indian communities, these Indian works on the estates to accommodate the American base, right? And then sometime, I can't remember exactly what year, when the Americans handed the land back to the government, they didn't wait the 99 year lease they had. Um, the government at the time made us squatters, right? were squatters, whereas we shifted their settlers, you know. And then um, when Kenny came, he knew about that situation. He we his studies, he did that and then interviews as well. We um, created the Proud Program, right? And that program regularizes the ownership of the land. And dependent on your period of occupancy, you pay accordingly. Samuel Bryce, a business proprietor in Viewfort. Um, I've been in the Viewfort area doing business from 1991 and um, I think it's just a great place to be, Viewfort. Kenny Anthony is a special man. Kenny Anthony brought a new life to politics in the Caribbean, to St. Lucia and by extension Viewfort. And as a Viewfortian, 
I believe um, we have changed the landscape of not only the political atmosphere, but the, the community at large. Um, there are several things that we didn't have before Kenny Anthony that we have now. And um, it really makes me feel good to be part of a community that he had managed over the past three years or 25 years. The St. Lucia Labour Party, <laughs> particularly over the past 25 years, has demonstrated that its, 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 its mantra is what it, it believes in. Um, it, it's so unfortunate that um, it took them such a long time to, to recognize the term we're putting people first. However, they have been putting people first from the onset, from the George Child time. And that's why people like my father had, had, had gravitated from the UWP in 1964 to the St. Lucia Labour Party. So uh, it's, it's a simple process. They put people first. And politics is about people.